Welcome to Rock Solid Rig. In this video, we are going to show you Creek Pass at Crossbar Ranch. As always, we appreciate your support. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. You can find it at the bottom right hand corner of this video. Make sure you throw down a comment and a like, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Let's you know when we drop new content, which we do on a regular basis. Here we are, once again, as Providence said, at Creek Pass out at Crossbar Ranch. So I'll throw up a little side-by-side -side video here just to show you the difference in the water level of the creek. So you never really know what you're going to get whenever you come out here, just depending upon the rain. Each time that we've gone through the creek has been just a little bit different. Um, this time, water level a little bit lower than where we were at the last time. You'll see as the video continues to play here. But... One of the things to keep in mind as you're going down the creek, obviously, is just kind of look for that water level. And obviously, the higher the water is, then the more obscured all of the rocks and the obstacles are going to be. You really want to keep an eye out for wheel placement and things like that as you're going through here. So just keep in mind the water level does have a, a lot to do with how hard this pass is. Did she pull all this gunk off? <laughs> I felt the. Are they not coming this way? They went straight across. Hold on, I found. <laughs> Hold on, I found this. I found a center cap. What the sh? <laughs> and a, a bunch of logs. Hilarious. That's hilarious. So you'll see as we go into the water here, Bailey kind of holds off just a little bit to let us go through first. There are some deeper areas in the water, and while the entirety of the creek is pretty much just rock bottom, there's not any mud that you have to contend with or anything. It's always a good idea just to give a little space to the person in front and behind you just to make sure that if somebody does get hung up, they have room to back up, uh, try to reposition themselves and make it through whatever it is that they're trying to make it through. As I said, um, with it all being rock here, it's really about just picking a line and uh, finding the area that you think you're going to be able to make it through best. Uh, it, unfortunately, with the water being there, sometimes that's kind of hard to do. So that's why I always tend to take it a little bit slower. I know here with the video sped up just a little bit, it looks like we're kind of flying through this. But any areas where the water is deep enough that I can't see what I'm coming up to, I typically try to take it pretty slow just so that I can see what my tires are going to hit up against. I don't want to go flying through the creek here and just find a you know, 12, 14 inch rock sticking out that I'm going to come up against and mess something up. So always a good idea just to kind of take it slow. And not only that, you take it slow, you get to enjoy the scenery and just enjoy yourself being out there as opposed to trying to race through something to be able to make it to the next obstacle.
So we're coming up to a pretty good size rock here on the driver side of the Jeep. And I made sure to steer clear and just stay as far passenger as I could go between the rock and the tree. Uh, you can go over this rock if you choose to. We did go over it uh, previously whenever the water was up higher. It didn't look like too big of a rock because we didn't realize that the water was so deep. Um, definitely you can bash your bumper, uh, you know, your muffler, something like that. Whenever you come down off that rock, because there's a pretty sharp drop off of the backside of it. If you take this route, it'll actually spit you out right at rock face. So it's definitely a route I would recommend taking if you're looking for a little bit more of a off the beaten path route to get to Rockface without having to take the traditional lines. As always, we appreciate your support. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. It lets you know when we drop new content. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.